Hi everyone, it's Mrs. McCoy. I am here to tell you about how to get ebooks to read at home. There's a bunch of different ways for you to get ebooks, and I'm going to show you some of them right now. Um, you can actually show this video to your parents as well, and they can help you sign up for some of these awesome websites we're about to talk about. This is the SMUSD Library at Home website. I'll put the link in the description. Um, but this is the website that the other librarians and I have put together to give you guys all kinds of resources for learning from home. You can use the menu at the top. There's ebooks, that's what we're talking about today. Virtual book clubs, read alouds, book talks and reviews, book trailers, podcasts, lots of extras like coding and art, things like that. Um, so there's tons of things on this website, but today we're going to focus on ebooks. Now, here under ebooks, there's a whole bunch of different organizations or places where you can get ebooks to read at home. So the first one is Libby. Now, if I click here, it'll show us the Libby webpage. Libby is an app that you can use on a phone or on a tablet. Libby lets you read um, books from your local public library. For us, that's the San Marcos Library and the Carlsbad Library. If you or your parents don't have a library card yet, the cool thing right now while the schools and libraries are closed is that the public libraries are letting people sign up online and it's automatically giving them a library card so you can use apps like Libby to read free books from the library. If you have a Kindle, like one of those Kindle e-readers, you can also use Libby on that and read library books that way. So if you click on this link, you can get the app on Google Play or on the App Store if you have an Apple device. I'm going to click get it on Google Play. And then I can install it here on my computer or on my tablet or whatever other device I have. Once I've installed it, if you already have a library card from the San Diego Library, the San Marcos Library, the Carlsbad Library, you can put in your library card number, excuse me, not the Carlsbad Library. The Carlsbad Library uses a different one that I'll show you in a minute. But if you have a card from the San Diego Public Library, the San Diego County Library, the San Marcos Library, you can use it here with Libby. So if I click install, it's going to load Libby and it's going to ask me to choose my device. So this is my phone that pops up. Whatever um, you have synced with your computer, if you've synced your, your uh, Kindle to it, a phone, an iPad, a different kind of tablet, it'll pop up there and you can choose what device you want to load Libby to. So in order to, once you've loaded it, the app onto whatever device you're going to use, if you don't have a library card yet, you can search. I'm going to show you here on San Diego County Library to get your card. Once you have the app open, there'll be a search bar for finding San Diego County Library. That's the system that the San Marcos Library is part of. And then all you need to do is sign up with your phone number or your parents' phone number um, to get your card number. And then you can start checking out eBooks and audiobooks from the public library. If you would rather, if you have a Carlsbad Public Library card, or if that's the one you'd rather get, here back on the SMUSD Library at Home page, you can click where it says Carlsbad City Library. And you can also sign up for a card online here. The link is right here, apply for a library card. And it's going to ask you for some information. Your parent will want to fill this in. But as soon as you fill these in and press register, it'll give you your library card number. And then once you have that number, you can go back here to the Carlsbad Library's online options. Oh, one sec. Let me fix that for us. Move my screen back up so you can see where I am. There we go. Um, you can go back here to their online options. If you click ebooks and audiobooks, this is the library cooperative that the Carlsbad Library is part of. So when you sign in, 
it needs you to select your library and put in that card number that either you have on your Carlsbad library card or the one that you just got when you signed up online. And then once you sign in, you can start checking out um, audiobooks, ebooks, reading them at home. There's other um, resources that are available on the Carlsbad Library website as well. There's Mango Languages, that's like a language learning one. There's Book Flicks, which are animated children's books. So there's other resources here too if you sign up for that public library card. So that's how you get ebooks from your public libraries. There's a couple other options here. The Abdo Digital Bookshelf. This one is really easy because you don't have to do any sort of login. It just automatically brings you to the books that they have available. This is through a publishing house, Abdo Publishing, and you can sort it by grade. So there's beginner books, elementary, middle grade, and high school. You can sort by grade and then browse through the books that are available. There's a good mix, mostly nonfiction here, but they do have a lot of biographies. If you click on subject, it'll have different subjects for the books. You can click on biographies. And they do have quite a few biographies of like current celebrities and athletes, like Aaron Rodgers here, for example. If we scroll down a little bit, there's Adele, the singer. There's the Congresswoman, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. So there are some more um, modern people here as well as favorite famous people from history. So you might be able to find a good biography on somebody interesting. There's a genre sort, so if you want graphic novels, you can look and see what they have available there. Um, and all of these are, it's really easy, you just click that link on the library page, you don't have to log in, it just takes you straight there. And then as soon as you see a book that you're interested in reading, like for example, oh, Bud, The First Dog to Cross the United States, you just click Open Now. It'll open in a new tab in whatever browser you're using. And here's your ebook. You can use the arrows to click through. Pretty cool. So that is Abdo Digital. Really quick and easy to get books there. Another one that you don't have to log into at all is the Junior Library Guild, JLG. If you click that link from the library webpage, and then you just scroll down a little bit over here on the left-hand side. It has these red buttons for elementary, middle school, and high school. We'll click elementary. And same thing, you don't need any usernames or passwords. It brings you right in and you can see what's available. There's both audiobooks and ebooks. So if it says read down here, that's an ebook. If it says play, that's an audiobook. Um, there's fiction and nonfiction. This one, the publishing, the company, Junior Library Guild, says that they're going to be updating and changing these titles a lot. So if there's nothing that looks interesting to you, they're going to add new ones all the time. Um, like there's Bink and Golly. I really like that book. There's some good choices on here. Both fiction and nonfiction. There's The Pigeon. There's Elmer. There's some great choices on this. And again, the nice thing is if you if you are if you just click through you don't have to log in just press read and read and it'll open the book right up for you going a little bit slow but that's okay hopefully it'll be faster at your house and then you can just click the arrows to read through your book Pretty cool. Some of these books on Junior Library Guild have the option for it to read the book out loud to you. Not all of them do. So if you are looking at their um, the books that they have available in the stream, you'll notice that some books say read, some books say play. Some of them have this title on top that says e-read-alongs. All of those e-read-alongs are the ones where it will read the story out loud to you. So if you click read on that one, it'll open it up. Again, slowly on some slow internet like mine but then it'll have a play button here at the top. And that play button will start the read aloud and it'll read the story out loud to you. And usually there's like music and the narration's really nice. So that's a good option too, if you want to be read to. So that is Junior Library Guild, another one that's super easy to get into. There's no password or anything like that. Um, Audible Stories, if you like listening to stories, if you like audiobooks, 
Audible Stories. No login needed. They've made it open to everybody. These are all audiobooks that you can listen to. They have Littlest Listeners, Elementary, Tween, Teen, Classics, Folk Tales, and Fairy Tales. So you can sort there. These are all free, really easy to get into and listen to. So let's say if I wanted to listen to the Mistwick School of Music Craft, that sounds interesting. Maybe Miss O would like that one. You just click on the title and then click Start Listening, and it's going to start playing this right is here audible. in your browser window. Super easy. You could also access this from a phone or from a tablet or from another device as well. So um, Audible is another one. That's an easy click through one. Lightbox is pretty cool. Your teacher might assign you something from there. We're talking about using it. But this one has a few more steps to log in. If you click on the title... It might ask you to log into your school account to your um, the same account that you use for Google Classroom, your SMUSD Cloud account. You might have to log in first. And then it has it's going to bring you this little picture that tells you exactly how to access it. There's a few steps, as you can see, but I'm sure a parent at home can help you with this as well. The website is destinydiscover.com. And then you're going to follow these directions to be able to log in. So it's a few different steps, but once you get in, there's a ton of nonfiction ebooks available, over a thousand of them. And all of those ebooks also have videos, pictures, quizzes, activities. It's a whole multimedia book. It's not just the book itself. Um, it reads it to you, it plays videos, it has interviews with people. So it's a pretty cool site. It just takes a few more steps to log into. If you have any difficulty with getting into it, just let me know and I'll be happy to help. The last resource on this page is Epic. Epic is a really cool ebook site here. It has tons of our really popular books. So if you like Big Nate, Warriors, um, Splat the Cat, it's got 39 Clues. It's got tons and tons of popular books, including nonfiction like National Geographic Kids, things like that. It's got all different book levels. It's got graphic novels, chapter books, picture books, tons of stuff. This one, Your Teacher or myself needs to make an account for you. So your teacher might be sending an email to your parent, um, giving them directions how to sign up for this account. This is not an account that you can sign up for on your own. It needs to come from your teacher or from me. If you would like access to Epic and your teacher has not yet sent you um, an email code to get in, send me an email or have your parents send me an email. My email address is whitney.mccoy at smusd.org. It's also right here on the SMUSD library at home page. If you go down to the elementary schools, there's my name right at the top and that will link you to my email address. If your teacher has not set up Epic yet and you really wanna get access right away, just send me an email and I will add you to the library account for it. So. Those are some of the different ebook options that we have available so that you guys can keep reading at home. You can download the Libby app. With the Libby app, you can get the public library books from the, from the um, San Diego County Library. You can sign up for a San Diego County Library card for free using the Libby app. You can go to the Carlsbad City Library website, sign up for a card there if you don't already have one, and access all of their ebooks there on their site. You can click here to listen to audiobooks free from Audible. You can click here to read those Junior Library Guild books or listen to their audiobooks for free with no login. The Abdo Digital Bookshelf had all of those biographies. Again, you just click this link. It's free. There's no login needed. Epic is the one with lots and lots of books, but you need an invitation from your teacher or from me. And, oops, I don't didn't mean to click on Epic. Let's go back out of there. And then Lightbox is that other one that has the nonfiction book sets, but you have to follow those steps in the document to get yourself logged in. So a lot of these have a few steps, but you can do it. 
I can help you. If you have any trouble getting into any of these or if your parent has any trouble, just send me an email. I am more than happy to help. I hope you guys are staying healthy, staying happy. I hope that everybody is reading so much and uh, I look forward to seeing you all again really, really soon. Take care. I miss you. Bye.